So over the last two years I had an amazing transformation regarding my facial hair. So firstly I had just a little bit of mustache like everyone else in my primary school and high school. Later I got a little bit of hair here and here and stuff like that. But in the end I was able to grow a pretty solid beard for a 17. So it's not perfect obviously but for a 17 it's pretty solid and above average. So in this video I will show you exactly what I did to grow a nice beard. And the tricks that I did to make it look even better. So obviously some people have genetics to only get a beard that like 25 maybe or something like that. So if you have genetics like that, you probably won't be able to grow a beard immediately. Like just watching this video doing stuff for like two weeks and expecting a beard. Like you can't really do that. But you can make it happen faster, faster than it would naturally. And also your beard will be much better. So yeah, let's get started immediately. So the first thing and the most important thing is increasing your testosterone. So your beard is your dehydrotestosterone. So mostly your dehydrotestosterone will influence your beard, your like uh, body hair, stuff like that, even your uh, PP size, a bunch of stuff, even the pitch of your voice. So a bunch of different things. But unfortunately, like your you can start losing hair faster if you have higher DHT, but we want to talk about that in this video. So how to increase this testosterone? The most important things you should do is like train like an animal. Like you should train definitely martial arts, like kickboxing or MMA. I train MMA personally. You should train like calisthenics or heavy lifting in the gym, like either one of those. Just train like an animal, really put a lot of effort into it. Cardio is not that important, like weightlifting here for increasing testosterone, but sprints can be really useful. Um, eat a clean animal based uh, high fat diet like an animal like eat a lot clean bulk a don't dirty bulk that's stupid uh, and just eat a lot of quality fats and quality protein just try to eat a lot of like meat a lot of like veggies stuff like like even like uh, milk and cheese if they are like natural stuff like that eggs obviously stuff like that uh, then you need to sleep a lot so if you get a bad night of sleep, like you sleep for like four or five hours, your testosterone can drop by like 20 or 30 percent compared to getting to getting like eight or nine hours. So you need to focus on getting enough sleep, enough quality sleep. You need to do semen retention uh, for months without failing. So in the beginning you will struggle, but no worries. I have made already NoFap guides on this channel, so you can search for that. I recommend watching Hamza's NoFap guides. Then just make a lot of progress regarding NoFap and then just do a few months of semen retention. That will skyrocket your testosterone. And then uh, when you increase your testosterone and stuff like that, which will happen after a few weeks, if you are still not getting any results regarding beard and you are like 18, 19, something like that, what you can try, what a lot of YouTubers did, is minoxidil plus derma rolling. I personally don't use this because I, I was blessed with genetics, so I don't really need to use minoxidil to boost my beard growth. But if you are struggling, and there is a YouTuber called Astin Dunham, which also struggled with growing out a beard, and he used minoxidil, which is like a thing that you can apply uh, to your face here, when you where you want to grow a beard, and you can use a derma roller. That's a thing that you roll over your skin, and it has small needles, for example, 0.5 millimeters, that puncture your skin and it boosts uh, hair growth. And after using minoxidil and the derma rolling for like uh, half a year, you can see insane results, especially after a year, for example. Uh, it's pretty cheap, so you can order it on uh, like Amazon or something. You can watch these YouTubers for further detail, but I think some of them just applied minoxidil uh, two times a day and they were using like a derma rolling like two times a week, like 0.5 or 1 millimeter longer or something like that. So definitely try that and uh, it's like 50-50 chances if it will work for you amazingly well or uh, not at all. So it's like hit or miss, but it's worth a try if you don't have any other options. Uh, the next thing is that if your beard is patchy or rare, you can use beard fillers. There is like a picture of DJ Khaled, what he does, and a lot of these rappers, celebrities, and models, uh, actors, they use beard fillers and a lot of like these youtubers like Austin Dunham he was explaining this in one of his shorts so you can use beard fillers it's almost like makeup it's like a bit gay sounds like that but it's not that bad actually it's like just the eyebrow pen can be used to like make the beard look uh, better thicker you can like almost like draw uh, draw hairs where they are missing and you can use like 
uh, other kinds of beard fillers. I'm not really familiar with that, so I recommend watching like Astin Dunham and guys like those who are using it consistently. So you can do, uh, use those kinds of things if your beard is patchy or rare and you can make it look amazing. And uh, you just need to be patient and uh, serious on your self-improvement journey. So this is basically self-improvement. If you sleep better, if you train like an animal, if you eat really clean and like an animal and do semen retention, it's basically self-improvement. So you just need to be patient and you will see insane results. So to prove that my beard is not only genetics, is that I have a better beard than my dad and anyone in the family of my mom at that age. So obviously like my uncle could have better beard than me, but he's like almost 40. So... Uh, at my age, at 17, nobody ever in my family had a better beard than me. So that shows that I know what I'm talking about, at least a little bit. So, yeah, you can just listen to some of the things that I told you about increasing your testosterone. If that doesn't work, use minoxidil and derma rolling. And you can use beard fillers if your beard is like patchy or rare or something like that. And that's pretty much it if you want to uh, improve your beard as a teen or as a young man. So, yeah. Uh, obviously, some people will just not have the genetics to grow out a beard early on, so you might need to wait more. You might not be able to have a beard like me at like 17, but at like 24 you can. So it's not that bad, because like your peak as a man is like between 30 and 40 years old, so you shouldn't really worry if you can't really grow out a beard at like 20-something. So yeah, and also like one big thing is like in high school and stuff like that, girls don't even like beards. Like guys that are clean-shaven and have like longer hair and stuff like that, do much better with girls compared to me. I don't have a girlfriend, like, I look uh, intimidating as fuck, and guys, like, respect me and stuff like that, but I don't really get girls. So, yeah, that's, that's the whole guide on how to grow a bit as a teenager. So, yeah, guys, see you tomorrow.